Hello Capricorn and Cross Watchers. Thank you guys so much for joining in. Today we are going to take a look at your week ahead tarot reading for February 9th through the 15th. We're going to start this reading with a few cards from the Wisdom of the Oracle deck. We will jump in with the Fairy Tarot for a little overview message and then we will pull out an original deck for the meat of this message. So Capricorn, let's see what we got going on for you for this week. Okay. Please keep in mind, guys, the messages on YouTube are general. They're not going to resonate every time with every person. Feel free to check other signs within your birth chart. It's really about the title. If there's something in the title that resonates, there's most likely something in the message. I also do a drawing here on the channel every month for free personal readings. If that's something you want to get entered into, comment your astrological sign below. I pull the names. I'm actually getting ready to pull the names for January's reading this weekend. So if you have entered, look out for that announcement. I pull a positive affirmation card at the end of every reading. And lastly, guys, if you find the message is helpful, that it resonates. Give it a thumbs up. Comment below. All the love and support is very much appreciated. It supports the channel and helps the message get out there. Um, so Capricorn, getting the sense that you may be feeling a little low this week, a little lower vibration. Something may be ending here. Um, this could be a relationship. It could be a work situation. It could be, I'm, I'm hearing home. Maybe you're, you're moving. Um, whatever the case may be, I feel like this is a change that you don't, you're kind of resisting. You don't really want to make this change. You're doing it because you feel you have to. Be flexible. Spirit is saying be flexible because, um, you never know how this is going to turn out. Maybe you try to, you know, give it a rest, meditate, contemplate, breathe a little bit. Let's see. Most important message here, spirit for Capricorn. What does Capricorn need to see about these upcoming changes? Please and thank you, spirit for February 9th through the 15th. Getting almost a, um, <sighs> you know, that's not the energy. Like your shoulders are down, your head is down. You may be, um, because this is a change that you're not wanting to make, okay? a change that you're not wanting to make. Ooh, it could very well be in relationships. So I feel like there are options here, um, but you may be uncertain. Release. And this looks like it has to do with the relationship. So there may be a situation here that you're walking away from. Okay, you're letting go. You're I feel like it's been tumultuous. It's probably been a lot of back and forth. Um, there's been some betrayal. Um, a lot of water under the bridge. Okay? A lot of challenges in this situation. Okay. And I feel like even though there has been these challenges and you are feeling connected to this person, I feel like you do intuitively know it's time to move on. Okay, it's time to start moving forward. Okay, I do feel a little bit of, you know, uncertainty, indecisive, not really wanting to move forward, right? We were channeling that in the beginning. But trust the process here. Okay, there's going to be a passionate new beginning that's going to come in. It's like clearing a space, clearing the space and making way for. A partner that's more in alignment with your soul's purpose, if you will. So let's see here, Capricorn. 
Let's use the Spellcaster's Tarot. Sorry, I bumped the tripod. Let's see. Most important message here for Capricorn Spirit. What does Capricorn need to see about this clearing? Clearing the space. Let's see. Let's see. Capricorn, Capricorn. Most important message for Capricorn Spirit. Could be dealing with a Gemini air sign. You have a lot of air energy. Also have scorpionic energy coming out so far and cancer. So let's see. Let's see. I feel like this person you may have been withholding, holding back. Okay, and this may have been because you felt like there was some deceit, okay? But I feel like they were protecting themselves is what I get here. I feel like um, this person may have been through a situation where it caused them to be kind of questioned, you know, anybody who was distant or anybody who was exuding a certain type of energy um i feel like this person you're walking towards is going to be helping you heal now i do see some deception from this past person with seven of swords there's also you're breaking you're breaking free from a person who maybe has been manipulative or controlling um caught to see the magician in reverse is also like a master manipulator, like trick trickery. Okay. So what I'm seeing here is you're breaking free from this. Okay. You're focusing on yourself, Capricorn. You're not going to be playing into anybody who's playing games, honestly, with your heart. And I feel like there is a person that's coming in that's going to help you move forward in this. Okay passionate new beginning but you're going to have to release this old energy before this can completely come together this may be a person that you're already talking to okay you may already be talking to this person there may already be plans in the works either you you're talking to this person currently or you have talked to this person in the past I feel there is, um, this person has been in your life, either is currently in your life or has been in your life before this, this passionate new beginning. Okay. Take time with this decision. Okay. Take time with this decision. Don't be too hasty. I'm hearing, um, seems like this may be a divine counterpart, okay? And the reason being here is because um, I feel like by releasing this person, okay, by, by releasing this past situation here, it's going to be very transformative within your life. There's going to be a lot of baggage that you're going to release with that person, okay? Ultimately, it's going to lead to balance and healing, okay? And then, and then guys, we have the um, emperor and empress coming out. And on the bottom of the deck, we have the ten of cups. So understand here, Capricorn, that everything happens for a reason, okay? And so when you're kind of resistant of, of changes that are occurring in your life, that's why there's a need to be flexible. The underlying energy of the oracle was kind of being flexible, flexibility, being open to the outcome, be open to where this is headed.
Now, I do, even though this is a weekly reading and it's coming out over the week, okay, I don't feel like this connection is going to develop into this divine counterpart connection right away, okay? I do feel like this is a person that you already have a connection with, yes. I feel like there are challenges ahead. I feel like there's healing that you guys balance, that you guys are bringing back into each other's lives with the justice and the four of swords, okay? But you're going to have to clear this energy, clear this space for this divine counterpart type of relationship. You're not going to be able to bring in your king or queen if you're still dealing with peasants. Just saying. Just saying. The great clearing, Capricorn. The great clearing. So let's get a couple cards here for the advice um, moving forward. I do feel like this is a good stable solid foundation so with that being said communication is key just being open and honest with this communication once you guys figure out that you guys are going to be you know entertaining this idea of helping each other to this next level of ascension um just communicating like look there's things that i have to release there's things that maybe this person may have to release um, in order to bring this connection closer together. I feel definitely a sense of caution. Proceed with caution, okay? Your energy is the underlying energy. That's a good sign in that you're present in your reading. This also symbolizes toxicity, so codependency, outdated belief systems, um, addiction, overindulgence. Um, so proceed with caution, pay attention, and this could be you, this could be the other person, okay? I do feel like there is a need to go within and introspect. There's a lot of healing work that's going to need to take place, okay? Especially if there's a toxicity, codependency type of energy, type of vibe, okay? And that could very well be why the hermit is coming out. There need These issues need to be addressed before this relationship is going to come into union. You guys are going to be friends. You guys can date and entertain this idea. But until you actually clear the space for this relationship, this isn't going to come together like it's supposed to. Slow and steady wins the race. Slow and steady wins the race, Capricorn. Um, proceed with caution. Pay attention. The knights are definitely action. Okay. Um, the Knight of Wands is definitely a faster moving energy, but if you notice that Knight is very guarded, very on guard, has his whole body of armor flying on a hawk in the sky. So yes, it's fast, but in that there could be some things that you need to be cautious about. Right? Like that guy could crash and burn at any moment. He needs all that armor. He has to be cautious. He has to be aware. The Knight of Pentacles, however, is the slowest moving energy. Slow it down. Slow and steady wins the race. Go within. Introspect. Really gain clarity on where you envision yourself. It's going to come together. It's coming together. It's coming together right now. Um, it's going to take time. I am going to do an extended reading. We'll take a look at we'll take a look at both people's intentions. We're gonna take a look into the past, what their intentions are, what their so we can have a clear understanding of our past, what we're releasing. And then we're going to take a look into this future, um, what this person's intentions are, 
um, how they're coming across. We'll also pull out the psychic, the guidance, the soul truth. If it's something you guys are interested in, the link will be below in the description box. You're more than welcome to join us over there. Power thought card coming out for you, Capricorn. I release all criticism. I only give out that which I wish to receive in return. My love and acceptance of others is mirrored to me in every moment. I release all criticism. So Capricorn, again, if you want to get in on the extended reading, the link is below. Otherwise, thank you guys so much for all the love and support. Thank you for liking, subscribing, sharing the content. You guys are all amazing. And I look forward to seeing your beautiful souls again soon. Namaste.